School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by the Alberta Canola Producers Commission. Basically, as we come into uh, later in the summer here, we're looking at canola insects. Um, some parts of the province we're going to have issues with birth armyworm. So those are a couple weeks away yet. Um, probably mid-August we're going to start seeing that showing up. Uh, similar timing on diamondback moth, although diamondback has really backed off. The numbers are lower than we expected this time of year. So we're not sure where that's going, but it looks like diamondback won't be a huge issue. It's possible though. And the third thing is ligus. As we get closer to uh, the end of the season, we're going to have issues with ligus bugs, especially uh, some areas like the Peace in the Peace and western, western part of southern Alberta, the ligus are going to be an issue. Are insect pests strictly a regional kind of thing? Like Depending on where you where you live, should you be looking for one thing over another? Yeah, it would like for example, uh, much of southern Alberta is not not going to have issues with birth armyworm. Um, Vulcan and Strathmore may have issues with birth armyworm. So, so yeah, even even within a region, you can have individual areas, and even um, even individual fields. Some fields will be higher than others, just depending on where the insects decided to to show up. So what should producers be looking for, say if they're looking for bertha, what should they be looking for in the field at this stage? Well right now birth armyworm will be just hatched from their eggs, so they'll be really small little worms uh, with a hard head capsule, um, probably under an eighth of an inch long. Um, but as they feed they get bigger and go through the different growth stages, um, so they'll be hard to find right now. Uh, as they get bigger, they're easier and easier to find, and they actually mig migrate, they move up to the top of the plant, and then they're really easy to see, and they're sitting up on the pod eating. Are there any control measures you can take at this point? At this point, uh, it's probably between control measures. Um, if, uh, if you run into uh, threshold numbers of any of them, uh, it'll likely be a little bit later in the summer. So what kind of damage can they do at this stage? Um, so what we're looking looking at, uh, birth armyworm right now are feeding on the lower leaves of the canola. Uh, as those leaves dry down then they move up to the pod and they actually will consume the entire pod. So it's a direct feeding. Um, diamondback is a little bit different. They actually just feed on the outside of the pod and scrape off the surface of the, uh, of the pod and then we get losses from shattering. So the threshold on those is much higher. Um, ligus actually feed by piercing into the pod and feeding onto the on the seeds, so you get deflated seeds and damaged seeds, and and so that that uh, feeding damage is a lot um, a lot harder to tell, but um, is definitely can we can run into problems there. So is this something producers should be should be in their field just as a regular? Kind of course of action? Yeah, I, I, I guess the message is there, there's no substitute for scouting and you have to get out into the fields and, and keep looking.